Hi, I'm Holly Greer with the Alachua County Environmental Protection Department, and this is the Water Wisdom Series. In today's episode, we're going to track this creek that's running behind me. This is Sweetwater Branch Creek. Right now, I'm next to the Downtown Public Library and Matheson Museum. So we're going to track the journey of this creek as it flows through Gainesville, and maybe you'll recognize some locations that we point out along the way. Here is a map of the Sweetwater Branch watershed. Do you remember our definition of a watershed from the last episode? A watershed is an area of land where all of the water that flows off of it or under it travels to the same place. This might be to a wetland, a lake, a river, the ocean, or sometimes underground to an aquifer. All of the water from the land in the red outlined area here flows to the same place, including Sweetwater Branch Creek. We're going to start exploring Sweetwater Branch Creek right here, but wait, that's a parking lot. There's a pizza place, a wing place, and a beauty supply store. Do you recognize this area? Did you know there was a creek right here? The creek runs right along this property off of Northwest 16th Avenue near Main Street. Sweetwater Branch Creek flows underground before this, but this is the first area where you can really see the creek above ground. This area used to be covered by vegetation, but now it's cleared so you can see the creek flowing past these businesses and close to a bike path you can see at the far right of this picture. You'll notice as we track this creek that it travels through a lot of urban areas in Gainesville. Urban areas are places where there has been a lot of development by people. These are areas where you'll find a lot of buildings like houses or businesses and also parking lots and roads. Think about all the pollution that can reach this creek. Any oil or other chemicals on the road that may leak from cars and trash that's left on the street or in parking lots can all get washed in. You can see where trash has collected at this barrier just south of the parking lot we were just in, and the creek has only traveled a very short distance above ground. This creek continues to flow underground through pipes again past Publix and the other businesses in the Main Street shopping plaza. Now Sweetwater continues its flow and travels under another major road, Main Street. It becomes visible again at the surface near the CVS Pharmacy. Here the creek travels through this structure called a weir. Stormwater engineers use different kinds of weirs to help control the flow of water or to control water levels in specific areas. From here, Sweetwater flows through a pipe underground again to cross yet another road, but this time we can see it in action by looking down these storm drains. You can see the water flowing in this storm drain, and now we'll cross the street and we can see the creek continuing its flow on the other side. Now Sweetwater flows through the Duck Pond neighborhood. It travels past yards and directly into the Duck Pond. At the very end of the Duck Pond, it travels through another weir. When it rains, anything that washes off of our yards or roads in our neighborhoods can be carried into storm drains that lead to creeks. We can help protect water quality and creek wildlife if we reduce or eliminate the use of chemicals in our yards like fertilizer and pesticide, and if we pick up after our pets and keep things like grass clippings out of the street. 
After Sweetwater Branch leaves the duck pond, it travels past the Thelma Bolton Community Center. It continues on towards University Avenue, eventually crossing under it. Sweetwater Branch continues its flow through Sweetwater Park next to the library where this video began. This is also near the Matheson Museum. Maybe some of these places are familiar to you. If not, I'm sure you'll recognize the next stop. Here we are at Depot Park. Many of you have probably been here. It's a great park to visit and watch wildlife and people. It's also serving an important purpose. This is a stormwater basin that the creek travels to. These basins help to clean up the water that travels here, including the water from Sweetwater Branch Creek. You'll be learning more about stormwater basins in an upcoming episode. Our next stop is Sweetwater Preserve. The creek has covered a lot of territory before it arrived here. It was joined by another creek, passed through an industrial area and more businesses, flowed past a water treatment facility, and under another busy road and this parking lot. The Sweetwater Preserve is a great place to take a hike, ride your bike, and enjoy some nature time. You can wander through several different habitat types and move from shady forested areas to sunny sand hill. And of course, you can walk along Sweetwater Branch Creek. You might notice some of the soil on the banks of the creek in this area has been washed off and you can see exposed tree roots. This is due to erosion. Erosion is when water, wind, or other natural forces move bits of rock or dirt to other places, changing the land. Erosion often happens in creeks that run through urban areas because there are so many hard surfaces around. When it rains, all the water that runs off those surfaces, down storm drains, and into creeks happens all at once. That quick moving big rush of water, especially after heavy rains, can scour dirt off the sides of the creek banks. You can see the water is very clear in this part of the creek, and there's a reason. Remember I said Sweetwater Branch passed by a water treatment facility before it arrived here? The water treatment facility cleans wastewater from homes or businesses and then releases it back into the environment. Sweetwater Branch gets some of that cleaned up water and that's why the water looks so clear. Now even though the water treatment plant has done a great job cleaning up the water, there's still some pollution left, different chemicals that are just too hard or too expensive to clean out of the water. The next stop for this creek is Sweetwater Wetlands Park where the wetlands will help filter some of those pollutants out before the water reaches its final destination in this watershed. Here we are at our last stop. Water travels from Sweetwater Wetlands Park to the Alachua Sink at Paynes Prairie, where it then travels into the aquifer that provides our drinking water and water for our local springs and rivers. We'll be learning more about Sweetwater Wetlands, the Alachua Sink, and the important connection to the aquifer below in upcoming episodes. Now you know a little more about Sweetwater Branch Creek where it flows from and where it flows to. I hope you'll join us again and continue to build your water wisdom.